Here are five things that you might not know about coroutines in Unity. One, you can call start as a coroutine. If you add I enumerator before start in a script instead of void, Unity will call it as a coroutine. This can be useful when you want to delay the first thing a script does or if a script's normal operation is going to happen inside of a coroutine anyway. Two, coroutines live with the behavior that called them. Coroutines exist as part of the class that called them in the first place. This means that if script A starts a coroutine that exists in a different script and then you destroy script B, the coroutine will keep running. But if you destroy the calling class, the coroutine will stop. Three, you can yield for another coroutine. It's possible to make a coroutine wait for another coroutine to finish before it continues its own code. Yield is a stopping point in the coroutine and it allows you to pause the execution of the script so that it can take place over multiple frames. This also works with other coroutines by typing yield return start coroutine. Four, you can cache a wait for seconds instruction and reuse it. Wait for seconds is used to create a timed delay inside of a coroutine, but because it's a class, creating a new one every time you need to use it can cause a very small amount of garbage. If you want to use the same delay over and over again, it's possible to declare a wait for seconds class outside of the coroutine and reuse it whenever you need to. Five, coroutines and I enumerators are not the same thing. Have you ever wondered why coroutines have an I enumerator return type? I enumerators are not exclusive to Unity. They're an interface that allows iteration over generic lists, where I enumerators simply iterate through enumerable types. Unity uses I enumerator to create coroutines, where the enumerable elements are the sections of your function in between yield statements. This is how coroutines are able to split logic over multiple frames, and also why a coroutine needs to return the I enumerator type to work. Subscribe below for more videos from me.